people that's gonna do the three day challenge for themselves, you could drink a gallon to a gallon or two gallons. So it might you might want to drink more water if you're sitting there getting thirsty and everything else. So that's what it's gonna do. One or two gallons, it doesn't make a difference. You're still gonna see a difference in the three days because you're hydrating, you're hydrating the body. You're gonna sit there and take the salts in your body. The salts gonna stay around in your body. If you got high um, blood pressure and you're scared about the salt, you can use um, um, black salt. Black salt has a um, unique um, or just um, it has a, a, a uh, aroma to it put it that way so you have to get used to it you're not taking it for the smell you're taking it for the beneficial value so if you feel like oh my blood pressure high which is not going to affect anyway because of a, 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 a minute amount uh, compared to the sodium and everything fiona be compared to the um compared to the sodium and everything else that's in your daily um um diet or or your intake so that's what you can sit there and do on that you can do one or two gallons. It doesn't matter because, um, like I said, this is day um, 17 for me with water and salt. And um, you can do it. It started correcting the certain behaviors that um, I didn't like. And like I said, she was good until I moved her to her home for about, about a month. And that's when, like, everything went left when I got her back. So I'm trying to, like... No, that's what that's what it is. You don't need to put your animal down. It's not. I told people it's not the animal fault. It's the per, it's the person that was taking care of it. the person that was taking care of it wasn't taking care of your dog correctly, giving it the right exercise, and a lot of it because if, if it was when you got the dog back, it should have been the same or better. That's why. That's what I was saying. Cause I used to go over there. If check you don't on. get out of holy, holy, whole crap, whole, I can't even get out of there. <laughs> <Get out of there. laughs> well, so like you talking to a toddler right now. <laughs> No, because I got my bushes, my my nine foot bushes over there, and her ass already. Um, I would turn the camera on, let you see her real quick, but I don't know. Hold on. No, um, I got my bushes over there, and last time I put my show my bushes and everything else because I use it for medical reasons. They got mad because hundred percent. Yep, and make sure you feed her the correct food. What, um, fruits and vegetables mostly. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Ben? Mr. Ben White? How you doing? I got a question. It's just a simple question about a dog, right? So about two, three months ago, I have got this pit bull. She's a female. <laughs> She's a uh, red nose pit, but I think her bloodline is red boy Jocko. Dude, oh my God. The issue I got with her is she's sweet. She's smart. She's kind. She love people. She love kids. But when she turn it on, she literally want to bite your hand off. Like, it's like everyone, an ex of mine, that I told her to keep her because I was working with her, uh, her ex a bully. And uh, when I got Rose back, it just like her whole temperament changed. Cause I was training her, working with her. She's a sweet dog. Like she's a very sweet dog, and she listens. Right, but, but also listens. with the also with the transitioning of your dog, if the other person didn't keep up the same core values that you did, and they let the dog just get away with anything, then you got to retrain the dog mind all over again, all over again. Okay, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah, because I, I mean, if the people are not if the people are not going to do the dog the same way you're going to do it, then it's going to be it's going to be issues because you already know the dog want to run the place anyway. Yeah, because when I got so it, if you're not going to be assertive, and then the dog you're going to let the dog get away with murder, and then as soon as you get the dog back, and then you see it because it normally doesn't happen anyway. That's what's going to happen. Yes, yeah, sir. Because when I got her, I got her from a friend of mine, and she said she couldn't take care of or handle her. When I got her, she was showing bad traits of aggression it got to the point i had to buy a shot collar i don't sit there but diagnose your dog with some craziness dogs don't eat that crap if they ate it they won't get sick they're telling you to sit there and sit in the office and sit there but diagnose your dog with some craziness dogs don't eat that crap if they ate it they won't get sick they're chewing bones because bones clean their teeth bones have calcium in it they're um, calcium deficient most dogs are. They have hip issues. Good close to me. All the stuff that's in the bones, that's what dogs need. Yep, I got I got two kids. I got a, I got my son BJ and I got my daughter Kena. 
One lives in North Carolina and the other one lives in Ohio. And both of them run their own business. Yep, that's what you're supposed to give your dog bone marrow. You're doing 100% right. That's exactly what they're supposed to eat. All right, Fiona, go. Where's the rest of everybody at? Nope, move. Thanos all the way in the back. Let me see, can I get him to run over here? 